What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Metro 2033 Redux. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and hopefully buy some new guns and pick up that note off the guy's desk. I don't think he's going to do anything, it was not a musical note, it was just a note. Generic ass note. What does this guy have? So, we can customize, trade, and sell. I will more than likely, so what can I do with this right here? Let's get rid of the 545 because it's... it's not really doing much for me to do the Shambler. It's a revolving shotgun. Just one of those left. Takes a while to reload. Thing's gonna be hella expensive, isn't it? Okay. And then the Tikara makeshift air gun, surprisingly silent and accurate. So what you're saying is that it's silent and deadly. And runs on gas. That's the point that we're making right now. Okay. Well, I'm gonna sell the bastard for right now because it is just not a good gun. I don't see myself using it very often. Can I customize this at all? We can go with a new barrel for it, and so we can extend the barrel out, which makes the shot tighter. Turning the duplet from a close combat weapon to a hunting gun for medium range. Okay. What does this do right here? We've got the basic stock. Compensates for recoil. So you have better accuracy. Makes handling easy. And a pre-war laser sight. Okay, well none of those seem super interesting to me. Let me go ahead and make some decisions right now. This guy looks like he sells accessories. In this case, accessories, hopefully. Got a couple of knives. What are those going to cost me? Oh, they cost me one. I could probably pick up more elsewhere, but... What are those right there? Oh, incendiary grenades. Okay. I forgot about those. I wasn't even aware those were still in the game. And then we got the bullet exchange over here. And in the bullet exchange, I think the best idea for right now... Is to keep our ammo where it's at. But... I think stocking up on some of this is probably a decent call. Get the shells. I do kind of want that revolving shoddy. It might be helpful. And you definitely 100% want to buy filters during this part. Oh my god. Do not skip filters in this part. I did it the first time that I played through. And it was the worst. Let's go with 5 minutes of breathing. Let's take... Yeah, let's just stock up. I mean, right here, you can actually stock up for, like, the remainder of the game if you want to. You shouldn't need much more than, like, 30 minutes of air for the entire game. So now that we've got that, we got to track down Bourbon. Where's Bourbon hiding at? I know he's here somewhere. Spending my time looking for Bourbon. People tell me I'm an alcoholic, but I just don't listen, damn it. Let's buy a rat. I don't see Bourbon anywhere. Did he say he was going to meet me in the bar? Was that what it was? Let's go back to the bar and see if we can find this dude around. What does he do for five? He gets drunk when I give him five dollars? This seems like the worst deal ever. Worst bartender I've ever seen. Yeah, he's like tonguing that thing too. Nastiest vodka ever. Oh good. Now I'm all smashed up and wrecked. That's great. Alright, well, let's go find Bourbon. Oh, there he is right there. He's chillaxing. Well, I made an arrangement with the guy here. He's a greedy asshole, but we can't do anything about that. Great. Let's go then. I think you already know the way. <laughs> that vodka wore off quick. Must have been some of that bathtub wine. Make you blind for a couple minutes, then you come back real quick. This is Moscow Metro. Over. Does anyone read me? Please respond. Bourbon? As if you don't know. Go fuck and get out. I've already paid, Mike. But if you don't want to go through, shit. A pleasure doing business with you. Alright, alright. Just kid, you'll respond. Get ready, everyone! The gate's opening! Are you sure, Commander? Take your positions! Cover me! I hate this so much. It's Moscow. I found the me in that group. The guy, I hate this so much. Yep, that's me. Oh, I wanted to use the big gun. I was excited about using the 35 or whatever the hell that thing is. Giving somebody some thwugga. Looks quiet. Looks clear. Go. All 
Alright, out we go. Oh yeah, we get to go to the surface. I forgot about this. This'll be fun. Move it, kid. Time to go. Do we need a gas mask just yet? No? We're good. Whatever. When we emerged into the ruins of Moscow, I felt both fear and sorrow. But after a life underground, I also saw strange beauty in the dark skies and frozen landscape. So that's the dead city, grunted Bourbon. Welcome home, Artyom. In we go. Alright, so let's have a look around here. Probably gas mask up real quick. Really careful now. And here we meet a happy citizen. Stalkers. Those crazy devils come to the surface almost every day, looking for scrap, ammo, anything they can dig up. Sometimes you find the dead ones frozen stiff, like snowmen in rags. <laughs> Search the room carefully. You might find another cache here. They often make hideouts for themselves on the surface, just in case. So just take a careful look around, and you'll have no problems with spare filters and ammunition whatsoever. Uh, what have we got here? You normally talk to yourself like this while you loot dead bodies, and also there was a punchline back there that you laughed at that I don't think that I caught. These enormous earwigs freak me the hell out. They don't seem to be hostile or anything, but damn. That's a big ass earwig right there. We have those where I live, and they can get about as big as the end of your finger, but they can get that big right there. You beat somebody to death with one of those. Oh, the tripwire. Yep. Okay, so what did that affect? Oh. I like some Home Alone 2 level traps over here. Kevin setting traps in the apocalypse. Oh my god. Oh, Christ. Like hell you do. Is he still over there? I think he bailed out. Grab some freebies on this side, because if there's one thing I know after spending time on the internet, it's that freebies are the greatest thing ever. Where did he go? There's that little prick. So I have to deal with him later. Because you know he's going to come back for revenge. He's going to run home, he's going to get a bunch of friends, and then they're going to roll out. See? There they are right there. I had to make an example. Those ones don't want to mess around anymore because I killed Larry. Like, Larry, no! He was our favorite Nosalisk. How dare you? You murdered the king of the Nosalisks. Let's see here. The Nosalises, I guess. The hell is that? It's like a lighter attached to a gasoline. Ugh, that's a nasty improvised explosive. I think I need a new filter. Hold on. Ah, he's being such a drama queen about breathing. All right. Since we know this place is trapped to all hell and back, we should probably keep an eye out, right? I don't remember this area being here in the original game. This is weird. Very weird. I mean, there's a safe in here. I'm going to watch out for traps first, though, because there's been so many thus far that... They do one-shot you, by the way. The traps will kill you instantly, so watch out for those funsies. Grab that. Unlock this thing right here. And we got some incendiaries. We got ourselves some extra ammo. So 30 military grade bullets. Looking good. If it made the grade, it's going inside my bag. I was going to try and make that rhyme, but I don't know. If it made the grade, it goes with the grenades there. That's how you can make it work because there were grenades inside of there. Is there fault? Stop making rattlesnake noises at me. I am finely tuned. I grew up in California where there's like rattlesnakes everywhere, and so I am finely tuned when I hear that noise to be like, eh, and like freak the hell out. Yeah, you know, doorknobs are too easy. Hell was that? Oh, hey kid. Stay here and if we meet the beast in the open, crawl into the nearest crevice. Some people call these demons. I call them bitches. 
It's hard to call something a bitch when you're the one hiding. I don't know if you've realized that little bit of irony right there, but, you know, I feel like my dad would interject at this point and say the same thing, so I'll throw it out there too, just because. So what's over here? Anything good? Treasure that I want? Free cars? Huh? Anybody want a free vehicle? How much time do I have left on this filter? Like 30 seconds? Not much? Okay. This place seems dangerous. Not gonna stop me though. Yeah, I think they expanded the map a little bit. I don't remember some of these areas. Like a lot of this seems kind of new to me. It may or may not be, but it feels new. Oh, big guy's back. If we get really lucky, we won't have to deal with him for right now. We'll be able to just hit up this ATM for a little bit of extra cash. I don't know, go to the carnival or something. I don't think you want to do that. You're making me upset right now. Mm-hmm. You better stop posturing looking so aggressive when I got a gun. With super sexy night sights. I love the night sights on this gun, by the way. Uh-huh. Let's try that out again. Where did you even come from? You jumped through the window right there? Yikes. There's another one, isn't there? Deal with you real fast. I'm about to swap out a filter in just a minute. Swap the filter now while we got a second. Alright, new filter. Here we go. Breathing's starting to look a little bit sketchy. So I don't know if he just keeps respawning or what's going on here. But I'm going to search the building further because I want treasure. Can it come upstairs? Indeed it can. Indeed it can. So where is it? There we go. Give it a couple shells to the face. Invoke that turtle power. Up to the top. Save. I like how it commanded the game to save and then it did. Take some of your shells because obviously I'm expending a few here. The ghosts of the happiest office building on earth exist here. Hooray! Office work! Anybody need a new Dell? Yeah, I got that locked down. Bring that compact shit back to the base. People are like, I'll give you 25 bullets for that compact and I'll be like, I bet you will. I always liked Compaq as a company. I felt like they were one of the better discount computer retailers, but they went out of business. I think before HP bought them, I liked them a lot better, but I'm having trouble remember. Oh my, what the hell are you? No, no, whoa, 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 whoa. All right. That was unnerving. My nerves have been thoroughly unned. Grab some of those goodies. I don't think I need to heal right now. I should probably work a little bit quicker with this looting just because I'm wasting a whole bunch of oxygen right now. Shotgun shells up in there. Can I jump over anything like that? If I cannot, then whatever. I don't know what that noise was, but I don't like it. So, is there a quicker way out right here? Oh, there is. Big guy over there, so let's keep our heads down for just a moment. Not interested in making a new friend right now. Does he leave? Oh, never mind. That's not the winged guy. I don't care about him. This guy don't mean nothing to me. Yeah, come get some. I'll unleash on you, son. Ow. Alright, calm down, Zippy. Uh-huh, you don't like that terrain. Watch him fly. Thinks he's tough because he's got friends. Well, I got a friend too. It's called a double barrel. Sounds like Bourbon's having himself a good old time over there on the side too. I don't even know if this is the way that I'm supposed to be going right now. Let's swap out another filter real fast. 
You go through them real quick because the air is kind of dirty out here. I think I'm supposed to go back and get bourbon or something like that. There's the big guy we got to watch out for. Well, I sort of remember this part. Not like really well, but I sort of remember that maybe I go this way and I meet up with him around the corner or something. Or maybe not. This might just be a new location for treasure. What am I missing? Oh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of goodies in there, aren't there? Looks like there's going to be a crossbow or something like that later on, too. Yeah, this is definitely different than I remember from the first game. Oh, Christ. No, you ain't coming this way, Predator Mouth Man. There you go. Little Bat Mouth Bastard. I'll call those Flap Jaws, because they definitely look a little bit flappy in the Jowls area. There's a picture on the floor. The flashlight back on so that I can see. See, he didn't tap E fast enough. That's what happened. What is that? A pistol with a stock? So what's the difference? Can I carry both? Is this one just more accurate? That's kind of badass. I like it. I like it a lot. It looks like I don't have to reload everything, so we should be alright. Check the shelves. Yeah, I bet it makes it shoot more accurately. Or maybe it like controls the recoil a little bit better. Either way, I'm alright with that. I'm reloaded on the shoddy, right? Okay, good. Check back up in here because you know there's going to be something good. Yep, every single time. What did Splatter say? Splatter said there was going to be something good up in there and he knew it to be true. Deep down, he had conviction towards that fact. He's talking in the third person now just to prove his conviction. Getting all zeality. I'm not going to spoiler what's happening right now, but there's a definite spoiler. I could just be like, Bruh! Reliving our pointing guns at children in the park phase of life. Who doesn't enjoy a good day spent at the park pointing guns at people? What the hell are you... Alright, so this, th this needs to stop because Arnold Schwarzenegger is nowhere around here to help. Are those hostile? Did those try and hurt me? My reticle isn't going red, so I don't think they try and hurt me, but it's better to be safe than sorry, because nobody likes apologizing. Bunch of no solaces over here. Grab that a little bit more time added on to our filter. I don't think there's actually anything back there, but there might be something in that trash can if we take a look. Nothing back up in there. I don't know if you've noticed this, but I am a gear hound. I really, really, really like looking for stuff. I bet there's something inside this trash can that you can only reach from here. Maybe? We're wheezing again. Hold on. All right, Artyom. I will allow you to breathe once more. Be calm. That building looks like it has light, warmth, and happiness inside of it, and I want to be in there. The world's most porous bush. It looks thick, but it's actually pretty thin. You can go straight on in if you really want to. Yeah, I definitely see things in there that I want. I love things. Things are the greatest. Can I go up this way? No, there's going to be a giant clipping plane right there. Well, never mind. I didn't want to do it anyway. Meh. All right, off this way. There's a door open right there. Probably check the back of this van first, though. Yep. They always said that guy was a slouch. And then he became one, literally. Hey, let's go back over here. Since we're in a hallway, let's go with the shoddy. Oh, see, this looks kind of like a death trap to me. That flashlight working a little bit better. I don't know where the superior position in this room is. But... I know it's probably not the one that I'm in right now. And you know they're all about to flood up in here, too, the second I make a noise or step on some glass or something. I thought I heard gunfire for a minute. 
There we go. Sometimes you just gotta waste a fool. Oh, Christ. Yeah, step into my hallway. As long as I don't come around from behind, we should be good. I hope. I don't know. Keep firing. Oh my god. There are a lot of you guys, aren't there? Oh, hell. Is he down? Okay. Inject once more. Ah, delicious drugs into my veins. I don't hear any more movement. I think we should be all right. I hope. Oh my god, there were so many of them. Maybe that was poorly planned. Maybe I should have just snuck by. The urge to shoot something was strong, though. The urge was real. The urge was real. Let me give myself a better consumable here. Go out through the window, maybe? Ow! Damn it, I keep pressing C. I don't know what I played lately where crouch is C. But I keep pressing C to climb through stuff and crouch down, and it keeps throwing my grenade. That is a really obnoxious button to put the grenade on. Like, C is the worst spot for that ever. Like, I don't know. I may rebind the keys just because... Like, what game uses... I don't know. I just... C is always the crouch button for me. It just is. I think it's because I've been playing too much H1Z1 or something. I don't know. Go down this way and see what we can find. How much you want to bet Senior Flappy's going to show up right about now? I don't really see anything out here that looks too interesting. Yeah, I think it's just about a dead end. Let's keep on trucking. I don't think this looks like a good idea either. This seems like a really, really bad idea. Okay, well, a little bit of loot right there. Still not uber sure about where I'm heading. I was say, some of these spots seem almost jumpable. Like maybe right there, you can go to that center thing and then jump a little bit further. Or we just go over here and find our homeboy because rolling alone seems to be a bad plan. And I did it again. Damn it! That C key. All right, that's it. C is no longer grenade key. I just I need this. I'm gonna do it in between episodes. It needs to stop like right now. What this has taught me here today is that you should never, ever, ever play two first-person shooters at the same time that have two different key sets because oh my god, that is infuriating. I'm not even mad at the game either. I'm mad at myself. Just to clarify that. You'd be like, Ugh, stop pressing the C key to crouch. Ugh. Anything else around here? Let's swap out that filter because the sound of him wheezing and having an asthmatic attack drives me crazy. There we go. Senior Flappy seems to have taken back to the sky. And you know what? I think I'm probably... It looks like there's something in there. Do you die instantly when you hit the water, though, is my question. Probably. This seems like one of those games where you die instantly if you hit the water. I don't want to hit my head on that right there either. Hmm. Well, we can be right there. Yep. You die instantly when you hit water. I'm pretty sure I made that right there. Oh. Well, hell. You don't die anymore. That's pretty cool. I mean, it probably wasn't good for me, but... It definitely wounded me. I thought I made that jump right there. I was feeling confident about it, but maybe not. I'm gonna let it go. I feel like that jump was on, and I think I made it, but the game doesn't seem to agree with me. Ooh, let's get down right here. Nope. But yeah, I think I'm gonna stop right here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for the next episode of Metro 2033 Redux. I look forward to seeing you all in future episodes. Hi, do everybody, and I'll see you there.